Welcome back to another video. It's your boy EJ with NBL. NBL, man. Oh, we outside with the boys, father and son. And uh, I feel like I haven't just done a video of just them two together. So I thought it'd be kind of special just to see how the dad and son interact with each other. As you guys know, um, Prince is not yet a year old and he's already showing signs of, of alpha-like behavior. Um, what I mean by that is just kind of doing his own thing. Um, you know, Zeus has to poop wherever he go, but also, I like Prince structure. I like how long his neck is. Um, Zeus has a shorter neck, meaning when he look back, um, he can't really turn around like that. I think um, as far as working dogs, He's a uh, prince, I have a better fit, um, better body structure. But uh, I know I'd be saying like Prince is bigger than Zeus, but he's not He's not actually like bigger, you know what I'm saying? Like bigger than him yet, but he's uh, he's growing. He's taller than Zeus is, but he's, he's definitely not heavier than Zeus is. He don't have, of course, he don't have the muscle that, uh, that Zeus has. But if you go back and watch videos that of uh, Zeus at a year old, uh, neither did he have what he have now. Like what y'all see now, it's not what what he was at a year old. He's not even a year old yet, so um, he does have the potential to uh, to be wider than his pops and uh, and all that. I don't think he'll have the chest that Zeus has, but um, he would be a lot bigger. He would be a lot cleaner. Uh, longer muscle, longer muzzle than uh than Zeus. Um, so he would have uh, you know his oxygen and and all that. He would be able to intake air better than uh Zeus will be ever would be able to. Um, so as far as agility and all that, I don't think he'll be faster than Zeus. Zeus is uh Zeus is more compact. He's a lot quicker. This guy he has a lot of growing to do. So he's gonna be, I say he got another year or so before he just really grow into his body. I think Zeus has another five, six months of growing as far as um, just muscle and all that. Cause usually at three is kind of when you'll see them um, kind of start to just settle in on their weight, settle in on their on bone and all that. Of course the weight and all that gonna fluctuate on how he eats and all that. But um, I say another six months is gonna be like Zeus is gonna be his ideal height and width and all that. This guy still has, like I said, he's not even a year old, so he still has a lot of growing to do. Um, he will be larger than his pops because his mother is larger than his pops. And even so, it's just, usually dogs that's that compact like Zeus is, usually throw bigger dogs than themselves because Zeus siblings is a lot bigger than Zeus. Susie, I was gonna bring uh, uh, Junior and Duke out just to have all the boys out, but I just thought it'd be cooler just to have them too. And of course, y'all see me have all the all my dogs out at the same time together in the field um, because I've been doing this since they were like six weeks old, like since they were real puppies. So they uh they have a good understanding of of what I like, Zeus. Um, of how I am and what I like to see and all uh, that. So I'm not really worried about having all of them out together. Um, if some break out, they break out fighting, it won't be them fighting another dog. It'd be them fighting amongst each other. You know, brothers and sisters and all that, they fight. So um, I just broke up a fight earlier. Roxy was fighting Hazel. Um, Hazel challenged Roxy. And um, Roxy got on the ass, but the reason Hazel probably challenged Roxy is because, as you guys know, Roxy's, I mean, Hazel's in full heat. Roxy here is coming, so the hormones and stuff like that are kind of just all over the place. So it's a good thing to have those girls separated just for a little bit right now. Um, and then there's other dogs that was around too, antagonizing them, because it could have just been 
And they was in the same, you know, the same kennel in the backyard together. And when they in the same kennel backyard together, if Hazel tried Roxy and Roxy bite her, Hazel could run off. But if Hazel don't got nowhere to run to, then she's she's forced to, to kind of defend herself. And um, so she was in there getting her ass toe up. And of course, Katana was jumping in and trying to get Roxy off Katana and all that. But, you know, I mean, trying to get Roxy off Hazel, but you know, there's no scars, nothing like that. It wasn't that deep. The fight wasn't that serious. It didn't last that long. It was quick. I kind of let it go on for a couple seconds just to kind of let Hazel know, like, Roxy is, you know, she could she could hurt you for real. And the worst thing you could do is break up a fight instantly. Um, if you break up a fight too soon, they never figure out who was going to be the winner of it. And if you don't have a clear winner in a fight, they think, I'm going to try this again. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's... Things okay to let your dogs kind of hash it out um, in a controlled environment. I don't say like you see your dogs fighting outside, you just go back to watching TV and stuff. Like, no, I'm not saying that. Um, I think you should definitely interfere um, if it gets out of hand. So, but y'all let my dogs hash it out amongst themselves because at the end of the day, um, they're gonna be around each other more than I'm gonna be around them. So if they don't have a clear understanding on on their ability and their capabilities um that's gonna be a problem when i'm not around and we don't need problems we don't need we don't need problems getting out of hand if i'm not around i think a lot of uh a lot of stuff can be settled amongst themselves so i uh i let it go on just a little bit and then i i put them back around each other right now like i said they're they are uh, in heat, so it's best to kind of just go and separate them after a while and until the heats and stuff go away. I'm not breeding Hazel on her, uh, on her second heat because her second heat came within a year. Sometimes your dogs will, I understand people say don't breed your dogs until they second heat. Sometimes the second heat will come when they uh, when they're not even a year old. So um, it's best not to even judge the first and second heat. It's best to judge on the maturity of your animal. And what I mean by maturity is the, um, the temperaments, the, the structure, the head. Um, she has so much head and body to grow into. I wouldn't dare um, put her in position to have puppies right now. Um, to each of their own. I think she could. I, I know 100% sure she will have puppies successfully. I know they would be very healthy puppies. But um, I'm in no rush to, to pump out puppies. And, you know, I'm not like a typical breeder. Like, and it's nothing wrong with bringing your dog on a second heat. I'm just saying, I'm not in it for that, okay? I'm in it to, like, really create something special. And what I mean by special is, like, everything has a, I have to have a, I have a plan for everything I do. I'm not just doing it, okay? I'm not just doing it. So, it's not time for her yet. And the male I want to take her to and all that, we just, it's not time. It's not time. It's just let her grow. Let her be a kid as long as we can be. Because she's still just a teenager. No matter how many, I don't care if he was a third. He, if she's just under a year old. We don't do that. So, the fact that she had her first heat now, that means this summer, I'm going into the fall. She'll be ready. Um, she'll be a year and a half. So, probably her third heat would be looking to, to breed Hazel. Um, the, part, the dog I I'm going to take her to is going to be very special. So, just keep watching. As y'all see, the junior is starting to hit another growth spurt. He's starting to wide out more. His weight is picking up. Y'all don't y'all don't know this, but Junior is gonna be one of my best looking dogs in the camp. Like, Junior is gonna look by far. Junior may look the best out of all the dogs. Like, when you just come down to structure and, and how pretty he is and all that, like, he's going to be so nice. And then he has a little extra lip on his mouth, so um, he will have a, a, a nice, nice head on him. Dream will have a really nice head. Zeusy! Hey, Prince. Prince is so majestic. Like, this guy looks so pretty. Like, he's just a really pretty dog, man. And I can't wait till his muscles start to grow in. When his muscle come in, he's gonna look crazy. It's gonna look crazy. But as far as just looking at him and all that, and. And also his temperament. I love his temperament. 
I love his temperament. I guess Zeus and found some bones. Zeus, what that is? What is that? Hey, drop it. So it looks like a bone to a pork chop. So we don't, we don't, I don't let my dog eat cooked bones. So, good thing about your dogs, like if you, it, no. If you um you spend a lot of time with your dog, and like I've been spending so much time with them, they trust me. Also, if I say drop something, they gonna drop it. Cause they understand that if they don't drop it, they might get kicked in the mop face. Yeah. Um, a certain level of respect comes with a little bit of violence. Um, I see people all the time talking about don't whip your dogs and all type of shit. You don't whoop your dog, okay? If you don't whoop your dog, that's fine. How I parent my dog and how you parent your dog won't be the same, okay? See how you just walked away and all that, but like I said, if you start with a little bit of violence early on, them understanding that violence could come behind them not listening has a certain level of respect that comes along with that. All right, they know what I'm capable of, so when I speak, they understand, they understand my tone. Whenever my tone changes, they get, okay, whatever I'm doing, I need to stop doing it right now because it's, it, it could become potentially unsafe for me if I continue. And uh, that unsafe environment is determined by their reaction to me. All right, we got the bone cleared out. Somebody probably was just walking through here eating a pork chop. And they was just, you know, they just threw the bone in the yard. And now that he found bones, he's gonna he's gonna look through this whole area and look this poop. So somebody is it's not coming through this field cleaning up after themselves. Um even after I'm over here, I come back with the shovel, I come back with the bag, and I come through and, and just walk this yard and, and pick up poop and trash because this is my community, so I think it's very important that you clean up uh, your community. Whatever community you're in, you see trash, pick up the trash. One person could do a lot, two people could do more, and people seeing you do shit like that, when they see trash, they're gonna do it too, man. It always, it, all it takes is one person to do some shit, okay? So, they, I guess people haven't seen me clean up. I walked through and clean up, so they haven't done it. So like I see trash and all that, this is not my trash, but I will be coming through here and cleaning this up because um, I use this field for my dogs. We do a lot of exercise over here. And until I get my property, I'm gonna uh, make use of this space as much as I can. So yeah, man, this is me out here with the dogs. Prince! Come on, boy! Boy, trying to get used to that big body growing into. It's crazy to see how big he's getting. Down someone down. Come on, Zeus. You gonna get into your? You gonna get into your position? You gonna tuck down? What you gonna do, Zeus? Uh, look at that boy running up. It's a pretty boy. Such a beautiful boy. Hey, boy. Y'all can see the height difference, like. Wish I had somebody here to hold the camera so y'all can see. Like, this boy Prince is just a lot taller than his dad. But I don't think he's gonna get too much taller. I think he's gonna start spreading so It's probably the tallest he's gonna get. Zeus, Zeus, come here. You gonna stand by your son? So people can get a little view.
Prince is for sale still. So if you're interested in getting a, a mail, really sweet mail, hit me up at 206-499-0422. The older he gets, the more expensive he will become. It's not just a typical dog now. It's just real dog. Some of the prettiest, most, maj most majestic dogs, man. Like very beautiful dogs. Very beautiful dogs. This is a 10 piece litter, man. Sold eight dogs. Eight dogs are sold. I only plan on keeping one. That's his sister, Hazel. People ask me why am I selling prints? They, bro, I swear to God, them dogs are so hot. Like, they bodies be so hot. You can see steam come from their mouth, and it's hot outside. Like, that's how you know their temperatures just be on a different level. Don't ever think your dog is too cold outside when it's like 35, 40 degrees. Trust me, bro, they're not too cold. Like, they're just fine. Once they got like a dog house to go into, they're fine. These dogs operate, their temperature operates very, very high. This is all rainwater, y'all. Zeus! Just looking for that bone out there. Zeus! Hey, friend. Dad think he's sweet. Zeus! Dad think he's sweet, friend. I think he's smarter than me. I used to think people love negativity and all that, like, and as I got older and I done got wiser, it's not that people love negativity. People love entertainment. Sometimes entertainment, um, the more negative stuff is more entertaining than, you know, the chill, peaceful stuff. So, like, I get it. I get it. Like, if I were to put this title, Zeus, look at Zeus. I put this title, like, he bit me or something like that. It'll get more likes and more views because people, um, people would, would find that entertaining. It's like when somebody fall, the first thing people do is laugh and then the next thing they do is try to see if you're okay. Um, that's just how it goes. Same thing with like dogs and stuff like that. And if these dogs were to get into a fight, more people would watch it, but at the end of the video, they'd be like, are they okay? Like. Not saying they don't, you know, it's just, they will watch it because, you know, it'd be a little bit more entertaining than them not fighting. But at the end of the day, they would want, they would want them to be okay though. So I, I don't wanna, I don't bash anybody for, as I'm getting older, I can't bash people that, that click on videos and hope to see a dog fight. That it's just it's more entertaining than, than dogs not fighting. That's it for this video, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. As you guys know, it's hard for me to even get a hundred likes on the video because my videos are so peaceful and so relaxing. Um, it's not really that entertaining. So I'm gonna do some shorts because um, those to get more attention and, and, and help grow the channel and push this uh push these educational videos out to more people. Uh, I love y'all man. Take care.